Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, this is going to be our seventh video in our series on how to model and assemble a simple uh, electronic meter. But what we're working on is a meter base, and what we did in the previous videos, videos, we put together a sketch geometry that's going to help us to drive the rest of our design. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and rebuild this uh, as we see it right now. So go up here to the, to the traffic light, go to the rebuild button on our uh, pull-down menu, and let's go ahead and get started. So this is our sketch five. I've been, uh, you know, doing a couple of sketches here. But uh, what we want to do is we're going to go to our features, go to extrude cut, and then it's asking to select a plane. But we've already drawn a sketch here now because uh, we've already rebuilt this. Uh, the sketch is in the background, and uh, you don't want to have to redo the sketch if you don't want to. But uh, that kind of trips people up every now and then. Sketch is gray in the background. I want to do a feature on that sketch. You don't know how to select it. You can reopen that sketch and initiate the, the feature command if you like. Or you could just click on a sketch element in here and it's going to assume that sketch. So it's already going to assume that contour too, so it takes out one extra step, which is really what we want to do. We want to take not this outside circle, so we're going to go ahead and delete that. If you need to delete any of these selections and any of these blue boxes over here in the managers, go to clear selections. What we want to do is we want to click on that, that circle and we want to go down uh, 30 millimeters. So what that's going to do, we're going to call that our meter cut. We're going to call that meter cut 1. Now let's go ahead and give this a color. As we put our model together, if we, um, uh, you know, it's helpful to be able to see some of these different colors, I'm going to go ahead and make that surface uh, we're going to make that yellow. You can make it whatever color you like. I'm looking for a kind of a lighter color, but not white. White will blend into the background and might cause a little bit of confusion. But if you look at appearance here, as we've talked about before, this kind of goes in hierarchy. Our whole model is going to be this light blue color, but we can also make the body light blue or a different color, which would uh, supersede that color. We can make the, the meter cut, which not only include this face, but uh, that face over here too, and all around. We can make that a different color, but what I really want to do is make that face, and that face only, a different color. So I'm going to choose yellow, probably a light yellow, and green check mark. That way we can see what we're doing here a little bit. So that's our meter cut. From this face, we're going to go ahead and make another cut. So from this face, we're going to do, uh, uh, we want to go ahead and show the, the base sketch for our, for our sketch, uh, not sketch four, but sketch five. So we're going to go ahead and show that. We're going to click on this face, and remember Convert Entities, if you go up here to Sketch, we need to initiate the Sketch command over here, go to Convert Entities, and when we do that, we want to make sure that we don't have anything else selected, so let's just single click out here, and then go to Convert Entities. And what we want to do is we want to click on that edge, right click, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do an extrude cut again, but this time we're going to go off in a different direction and a specific uh, value too. So go to, go to Features, Extrude Cut. We're going to make sure they're not going back, but we're going to go 15 millimeters towards the front. And we're going to reverse the direction here. And then green check mark. And so what that does is it puts a little slot in here. And once we put this slot in here, then we have the ability, once we put this, uh, this uh, base into our assembly, to be able to put our uh, meter cap inside of this and be able to nest it in there. Let's go to our section view and take a look at that just to make sure it is what we intended it to be. And then we'll go to the right view. Green check mark over here. And you can see what we've done. So all of our sketch uh, elements are all on top of this plane here, which is the very front of our, our meter base. But we've projected those sketch elements on different planes as we've uh, went ahead and built our model. So, that looks good to me. To get out of that section view, just double click it up here on your uh, heads up uh, view toolbar. And we're ready to go to our next uh, feature. So we call that uh, meter one, meter cut one. Let's go ahead and copy that. Just because I'm not a fast typer, we're gonna paste it here, control V, and put it to in there. We're gonna call that meter cut two. Let's put in our, uh, our slot cut. So click in that face, go to sketch, sketch. And let's go ahead and convert entities, at least that's one way to do it. But what might be a better way of doing it is also borrowing that sketch. We can borrow a sketch 5 up here and go to features and go to extrude cut. 
what it's going to look for is a selected contour. So let's go ahead and do this. Instead of actually selecting a contour here, what's really going to be easy is selecting an area. So we select this area, sometimes it'll select around that center line. Uh, this time it is selected on both sides, so we're in pretty good shape. And if you go down at least 15 millimeters, or maybe up to that surface, that would work too, but blind 15 millimeters would be okay in this situation. And a green check mark, and what we have is our slot cut. We can hide that sketch by clicking on any of the sketch entities. Go to the eyeglasses icon, and uh, let's go ahead and rename this. We'll call this slot cut. It's a little bit hard in the tongue. Seems a little bit. Okay, we got that in there. One last thing we want to do is we want to put a uh, uh, probably a slot tab in here. We're going to put a tab in here that would be a, a kind of a stop. So if we were to put our meter cap in here and rotate it uh, in this area, we want to have a little stop in here. And uh, when we put that stop in there, it keeps that meter base from uh, rotating or excessively rotating if we don't want it to do so. So let's do this. Let's go back to our section view. And this time, let's choose a different uh, view in here. Let's go to the top view. And if you want to move your section around a little bit, it gives you these arrows. What we want to do is we want to be in a position here, kind of like that, where we're just a little bit above where this uh, face is in here on our first cut. Green check mark. Actually, let's go back to that. Sorry about that, but let's go in. Uh, this is a good exercise, too. Go back to the section view, and then reselect it. So it puts us right back to where we were before. But let's look at it from a different direction. Let's go to reverse direction and look at it this way. This is, gives us the ability to jump into that cut. And now we're going to uh, go ahead and sketch on this face. So we'll go to Sketch. Initiate the Sketch command, because we're going to go to Convert Entities and just click on convert entities and this will show you it's going to pick up all this geometry that we have in here and if you go to green check mark it's more than what we need but we're going to go ahead and draw in some uh, additional lines in here we'll draw in this line here make this line again coincident with the center of that circle we're going to put a dimension in here just move that line up a little bit put a dimension probably on the top like we've been dimensioning the other ones and we'll make that uh, maybe uh, 20 millimeters. And then we're going to trim out everything we need. So go to the trim entities. Take your cursor and drag it through those lines. And don't forget this little line over here. It still shows some points in here, but these points will disappear once we rebuild our model. But before we do that, let's go ahead and do our features. Extrude cut. And instead of blind, let's go to up to next. Now, up to next is not going to show. It's not going to show our next. We do have a floor down here that it's going to go to. It's giving you a preview of where that's going to be. But until we get this model built and take out that section view, it's probably not going to show that. So, let's take out our section view and see what that looks like. And it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Next thing we want to do is we want to put in our whole wizard hole over here in that location we already defined. And we're going to take these three features, our slot cut, our tab over here that we put in there, we're going to call that the slot tab, and our whole wizard hole, and do our circular pattern around here five times, just like we did on our uh, meter cap. And then we should be pretty close to being done.